I think there's two ways to look at it. I think if you're defending the ball and you're trying to protect the ball by getting your body in between an oncoming player and the ball, that's fine. As soon as the player jumps for an aerial ball, if the ball's in the air, to try and get leverage and get over you and then you back into him, that's a mid-air collision. It's very dangerous. I think it's not going to be long before someone does actually break their neck or back. And I think if you're talking about the PGMOL making rule changes, I think the quicker they bring this rule in as law, the better, because if they don't, someone's going to get hurt. I actually thought that Lacazette jumped over the back of uh, Harry Maguire in order to try and win a free kick and actually hurt Harry Maguire in the process. I think it's a really dangerous situation. Here. Backs and heads are the kind of things we need to make sure we protect. Well, I think if you look at rugby and uh, American football, two of the most um, physically contacting sports that mm. we watch, both of them have got a, a rule which is called a mid-air contact and it's illegal in both sports. So if they're doing it and they're supposed to be the real men, we should do it. And the sooner we adopt that as law, the better. Because like I said, this will end in a tragedy of someone getting really seriously injured. Is it something that you think has come in very recently or has it always been around? It's always been around, but I think it's just happened more and more. And with the firmness of the Premier League pitches in particular, you know, there's no give at all. I mean, most Premier League pitches, I've got at least 20, 30 percent um, synthetics. So there's no give. They need to they need to cut this out. And it's something where, listen, players who do it, they know they're doing it because their spatial awareness. You talk about Harry Kane. Yeah, his spatial awareness is great. And I'm all for the forwards being able to protect themselves and being able to protect mm. the to protect the ball. But at some stage, you have to think this is going to end in, in, in a real disaster and something's got to be done about it. I don't think Harry, Harry Kane always does it on purpose because he's, he's a great link-up player. He's a great hold-up player. But at times where you can see someone's actually attempting to jump for the ball and then he backs in, there's only one thing that's going to happen and it's the other guy's going to end up on the deck in a really difficult situation.